Good evening and welcome back to the crust where I've done a few things. You might ask, we got a lot of money and we have some more CPU and stuff. I have been waiting for ever for this to build. It's been going really slowly, like really, really slowly. Um, and I know why now. I know why now we fixed that, but yeah. Um, I built a couple of um, CPU data centers. I did buy the goods in to build these because I need them because um, I wanted to get some another miner going, an extractor going for getting some more titanium because we are suffering from titanium. We're suffering from a lack of titanium and too much aluminium. So um, uh, we need to we need to sort of deal with that. However, um, I've also done uh, the contract over here for the ACL. Um, um, it, it, you just you just complete it and they go, oh, thank you very much and give you a bit of money and that's it. Um, we've got another mission here and I'm doing this mission here as well. So we're, we're doing, I brought, brought frames in, we're, we're doing the mission here. So I want to do this mission here as well, which we'll do in a moment. However, rooms. Rooms are interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting because they don't appear to follow the same rules as other buildings. So if I was to put down a component factory, all my rovers, all my bots, robots, would deliver goods to the component factory. That's normal rovers and haulers. And you'll notice we now have normal rovers more than uh, normal robots more than haulers. Okay. However, haulers will not deliver goods to a room. They will not come and deliver the one stuff to this room here. So for ages when I've been letting this just sit here and run. We've only had five robots doing it. That's why it's taken so long. Only had five robots. And the haulers have all just been picking up the, uh, the the stuff up here. So, yeah. I'm going to change all this up now. We're going to get all the rovers off of doing anything else and just get them all building the room. Because I thought haulers could deliver. That's why I thought this would be fine. I thought the haulers would come and deliver to this here. They don't. They don't. Only standard robots build the rooms. Which is weird, because as you can see, they're not coming and building straight away. They are actually coming and dropping goods off and then driving away. And that's something haulers should do. So I'm very confused by that. Very, very confused by that. So, yeah. Um, I have been doing lots of these contracts. Every time we get an urgent contract, I'm like, yes, I accept the urgent contract. And like, if, if it's good, good stuff, and send it. Um, because uh it makes sense it makes sense to go and do the contracts things and that's why we've got over a million credits once again which is awesome which is absolutely awesome 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 um i did have a weird bug with my uh um uh social science i i, I loaded the game up today and i had zero fundamental zero engineering and 500 social science coming in and i was very confused by it because uh, I didn't have 500 before and we don't have 500 before so I went to the lab to buy some and it seems to reset it so yeah um I don't know why sometimes you get that weird thing of like the science is just a bit weird for it but um I went there to reset it because I mean wasn't complaining about 500 science don't get me wrong but yeah as you can see we've gone through a lot of the science as well I've gone through a lot of the tech tree um just I've just gone through it I've just been going through it and doing things waiting for this room to build because it's taken an age an absolute age because i didn't know only five watts were doing it i've left the game running in the background i was streaming yesterday um streaming satisfactory and the cross was running in the background for the whole stream on three times speed muted um and every now and then i just sort of quickly tapped out but i don't think anyone noticed um and yeah and it was running all day and i'm just like this is just taking forever and ever and ever because i only had five bots doing it now we have 22 doing it so okay i love haulers i think haulers are fantastic bots they're wonderful things they deliver everything apart from when it comes to building rooms when you're building rooms all drones all robots on deck that's what you need to do okay so uh we should have a, a guy coming to do this here he should be he's waiting for modular frames oh, did i not buy that many modular frames i thought i did oh no you might have used modular frames to actually build the conveyor elevator so we might not have any modular frames left um we have 15 apparently do you want to come and do this should i turn this on is that the problem it doesn't need to be turned on usually um where are the much frames where are they apparently we have, we have 15 there come, come and come and grab these come and 
you want to do, do, do you want to come hey here we go okay so i got so for some bizarre reason delivering to there wasn't a priority over building the room downstairs i have also messed up as well because the bots have to come up upstairs to pick up the stuff and come back downstairs again because there's none in these boxes so they can't actually get stuff from these ones there's none in them which is a little bit annoying so um Yes, yeah, so they've got to go upstairs and do that, but yeah. Um, aluminium is also completely 100% full. I have sold aluminium just on the market value, like three or four times. Um, uh, and that's brought us in like 100 and something thousand every go. Apparently I have two power grids. Why do I have two power grids? The second power grid has nothing in it and nothing going and nothing. Why does the second grid... Have I put down a random power pole somewhere that's just not connected to anything? That would do it. That would that would that would register a second grid. Um I don't know. I don't know. We'll find it. Oh no, it might be no, no. Um I ran these down here and I run power into these because I was waiting for the room to get built and it was like, ah, yeah, there, there's the second power grid. Boom. Um I uh, also had to move these away from the edge of the room because I've messed up the spacing, but yeah. Um, and we are we are halfway to filling up this guy and all the rest are filled up, so we've got plenty of ice going. That won't be a problem. This is just taking forever, so. Um, but I want to do this here. We have a unknown signal. Um, so let's go and investigate the unknown signal and uh, see what they have to say. Initial examination of the objects allows us to determine that it is a space telescope. The rover's cameras can clearly transmit that the telescope is partially submerged in a lunar regolith. Its outer shell is covered in a layer of lunar dust. Some panels and elements have been damaged on impact, but it's safe to say this is the James Webb telescope we're missing a few years ago. Ah, how do you lose things? Like I, I, I have a feeling there's something else in the history of Earth before the crust happened. Um, like, something went terribly wrong and uh a company companies just banded together to leave earth and do things and it's all just and like science was basically kind of left behind so like james webb went missing no we'd be able to track it unless something dramatic happened to earth so um yeah um which explains why um you know crust denies access to the moon like crust has access to the moon and you have to go through crust to get there they're the only company so I don't know, maybe the corporation just finally took over. But anyway, we're going to get some science, which is awesome. Boom. Nice, 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 nice. And then I think we're kind of uh, done for the rover. I think it's, uh, it's, it's done. We've got a private lab. Um, oh, yeah, we are. Uh, um, so, so, right, I'm going to uh, send you back home again because, yeah, um, there's an urgent contract available. Um, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to use the plates up because we're struggling with titanium. Um, we're filling up on aluminium again. Right, um, I'll have a quick look through the contracts to see if there's an aluminium only contract. I've been doing this a fair bit, trying to find things. Um, like this one here is an aluminium only contract, so we'll, we'll only, only contract, so we'll do this one. Send, um, and then I'll go through it again and uh, just, just try and find it. And then if I don't find any contracts for it and I need to get rid of the aluminium, uh, aluminium I just literally just go to the, uh, the other side and just go sell. Just, just go, go to the the standard market and just go bump, dump, sell, get rid of, be gone. Um, I know the market, the the contract system normally gives you more. Um, it's all a sporty family. It's all the same contract. A sporty family wants aluminium. Why? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, don't think any of these down here really ever do that. Um, it's very rare to get aluminium, just aluminium down here. No, 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 no. Nope. Uh, that is that. Yeah, I don't think any. Oh, you've got. Oh, it's again, a sporty family. Cool. Um, oh, I've reached. Oh, I'm on the maximum contract. Okay, right. Boom. Off you go, Rovers. Do the thing. This right, I need holders, though, because holders are fast for doing it. So. But hey ho. Hey ho. Not enough power to run the module. Huh? 667, and we've got 600. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because we got powered here and we here. So, um, I did actually turn this off anyway, uh, because yeah, 
Um, so that doesn't need running anymore. That doesn't need running anymore. That doesn't need running. That doesn't need running. That doesn't need running. Uh, the beds don't consume power. That doesn't consume power. So yeah, we'll just turn them all off. And that's fine. Um, just to empty the aluminium out on all those contracts, so we can do that there. So yeah, they all they all come up here and dump the aluminium into these guys. And yay, awesome. Okay, okay. But um, what I've got to do is wait for this to be built so we can move on to the next stage of it. I could then continue doing things. I don't want to build anything this side of it in case I've messed up this room in any way. Um, because it is entirely possible I've messed up this room. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, titanium is just... It's 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 coming... No, it's, um, it's not... We're not getting enough titanium in to keep up with the current demand. We need more titanium. Um, so, um, I have been going around trying to find the titanium that we have. That's aluminium there. Do, 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 do. Titanium there. Oh, we can mine that one out as well. Um, let's make this property. Not that we have any mining drones at the moment, so. Let's do that and then um, tidy up the sides. <laughs> there we go. Um, there's titanium there as well. Let's. Um, do that titanium there as well because we are in desperate need titanium resources have been delivered. it will take them a little time to get the place back in order oh, so we've got the drones delivered to uh, the west station that's awesome uh, this is just slow the hell down because it can't do anything if you know what I mean it's a uh... yeah um, I feel like I kind of want to turn off this guy and let them do their thing, but they're struggling because they can't get rid of the aluminium. That's that's the problem. So hopefully they can now get rid of the aluminium. Um, yep, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. I can speed them up as well. Not that that will actually help. Uh, I don't have any of those, so we can't do that. Yeah, so we're kind of stuck. I'm hoping that um, not doing this A Place to Live contract um, or mission taps it out. Um, we've been getting many different reports from many different places about uh, what does what went there. We know it's not the Aurora Project. I discovered that on stream because I hadn't completed the Aurora Project and I still managed to get the laser mission. It might be tied to discovering the MDR. Um, so um, if you don't do the MDR mission, but it also might be tied to the one before that with the uh, repeater. So yeah. It, 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 it's it's there's so many different questions so many different like how is it how where is it whatever that because um because there's an achievement to survive for a hundred years on the moon i assume it's supposed to uh be um like you finish laser project and then you continue living and that's fine but if you can delay it obviously you can get that done there so um but i've had reports that uh, I, i've had it twice in the year 2084 um somebody else had it in 2095 so uh, we're currently in 2082, so we're okay, we're okay. So, okay, so you can do this here, bum, bum, bum. Uh, you have no titanium, so we need to get some titanium. This is this is the bit of a problem that we really have. Um, uh, we are sending titanium uh, along the bus rather than into the elevator, so we're not actually getting any stored for us because we're not producing enough titanium. That's the problem. Uh, you want titanium plates? No, don't wanna do titanium plates. Um, we could just buy some titanium in, I suppose. We've got the money for it. Uh, so how much are rovers? Rovers rovers are screwed again. This this just keeps happening to me. Rovers just end up at the absolute cap when I need them. And cut them. I haven't seen them cheap, and I have been checking. Not very often, but I have been checking. Um, titanium is quite expensive, but do you know what? I'm going to buy an entire load worth because we have the money for it. In fact, let's buy the largest pod worth like that which is uh let's just basically almost buy the market out there you go there's two thousand on the market and we're going to buy a thousand eight hundred so well we're not going to buy the whole market out but yeah buy and switch up our dad to the smaller one but um, there you go okay and then we'll dump that uh here um i think these are set to drop off are they yeah these sets drop off so they'll drop the titanium into these guys uh, when they're done none of them set to pick up because there's no point because the pickup's upstairs 
um, I hadn't really planned for it like this. The, yeah, yeah, I, I kind of feel, um, I kind of feel like I should have this mirrored underground, and then the elevators come up only have like one storage above ground for each one, but have the main storages underground so the bots can grab it, grab the stuff from the main storages, you know, have all this underground here, which means moving the stuff, the bus down, um, and have like all the storages here, um, so the bots can grab them to build things underground. It's not terrible for the bots to have to go upstairs and come back down again, but it's not brilliant for them either. So, okay, our room is running. We don't have enough power though. Power is um, a very severe problem. Uh, also, um, I kind of want to uh, semi-adjust this um, because um, we need more batteries to solar panels um I, I i i thought it was three million panels to one battery it doesn't appear to be that way um like now we're half through the day and all our batteries are fully charged and we are using a lot of it so it, it's more it's more than that to the batteries so um i think what i'm gonna do is we're gonna put batteries this side as well um can i get batteries on this side i can't no, we can get down a little bit with them, but not really. So, um, and then like that. Um, and what we can do here is we can run power lines down the center as we did before uh, to there. We can move that, remove that, and that will kill our power, which is, oh no. Um, That's okay. And then we connect that one to there. We make these two a high priority so we get power back. Because I don't think we have any power right now. Nope. I think I think our power grid is dead. So um yeah, that's a mistake. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, and then we run these through. Like that. Well, there you go and then they're all powered they're all they run on a strip they run on the lines along they got lines along and so yeah um, and then we can charge more batteries during it so um yeah we got the batteries back up and right okay so we can get that going as well because that's going to be needed um we have an idle cargo truck which didn't return to base even though i asked it to interesting hmm. um yeah uh right okay urgent contract available we don't have any so well i do have them but no <laughs> okay let's actually do this now this has been built let's actually do this let's change up some of our guys back to being haulers again um uh let's get 10 haulers going shall we come on bump bump and um we get four miners. in fact i don't want four miners no um slow down the miners just have two miners we don't we don't need that many miners we don't need the space clear we need it but we don't need it cleared out like that quickly so okay so what are we gonna do in here well in here we are going to put in carbon fiber factories and they're gonna face this away like this um and then they're gonna have their outputs on one end and they're gonna go up onto the bus up here somewhere okay so that's where they have to be so let's pause this so one two three four five six seven we want seven of them like that okay behind that we need 3.3 .3, uh large hydroponic farms now technically the mushroom farms are kind of better because they use less water to get the same amount of food however they require microprocessors to repair not micro circuits not the micro circuits the next stage, the microprocessors, which makes them very expensive to run. So we're going to go with the hydroponic farms because that requires titanium plates to repair. That's such a jump. I don't, I'm, I, I don't, I mean, I, 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 you know, it's got to be climate controlled, but surely that does as well. That needs climate controlled things. I don't know why it just needs titanium plate and that needs, if it was micro circuits, it would still be expensive, but cheaper. Uh, that's, that puts me off using the mushroom farms. So. So we need 3.3, 3.3 um, 3 .3 times 7 means we need 24, 24 of them, 
24 of them and i think we can get so many down the back here so if i run along the back here so one two three four five six twelve um and then uh If I do that again, that's 24. I made this way too big. <laughs> However, I kind of didn't know because we also need to put in the um, uh, containers for water, which I'd forgotten about. So we need to do that. We need to do containers for water as well. Um, so if we went and did a... a uh, oh, no, we're up to CPU limit. Right, okay, so we're up to the CPU limit, right. Okay, so let's get um, half of this going then, shall we? Like that. Um, I would like a fridge storage, at least one, multiple, realistically. Um, uh here i suppose or we could do fridge no i think i might do hmm. there's no way for me to evenly distribute the stuff between um all of these guys so um some are going to get more than others which is just the way of things it's just the way of things so let's um remove those and let's move these back because we want to put in um big water tanks which actually use cpu i didn't realize that the small ones don't the big ones do Okay, maybe put small ones in. I mean, I know they um, they store twice as much as this and don't use as much space for it, but maybe we'll put the smaller ones in because they just don't use CPU. And we don't have to worry about it so much, so... Um, yeah. And it's only for a backup anyway. The whole system should be running at decent speeds anyway, so... Um, uh, oh, right. let's go to this here now, so carbon fiber. Um, we could put in a, a storage for each one. I kind of want to. I kind of want to put a storage in. So if we run a belt from here all the way down to here, okay, it will then split up this way. So all of them will feed into this one. We will have to upgrade the belt, um, particularly the uh, um, but the whole thing might have the whole thing might have to be faster. I don't know, uh, but especially here when they all merge together. So um, yep. Um, so we do that, and then we put in uh, the the carbon fiber factories will be. If I go one two, I'd have to move it away from the wall. Can I still get seven in? One two three four five six and seven i can even with the doors there excellent that's what we want that's all so oop, let's go to here let's go to this one here so we want to put in these guys six and seven like that. okay and then we want to go uh to set resource uh, organics, copy and then paste into all of these to make them all organics. And then we do that. And then we do this. Okay. And then there'll be another one that comes up this side and then that will be done that side there and that'll be fine and dandy and wonderful. We don't have the resource to build this so we're going to have to buy them in. That'll be fine. We can upgrade them as well to make them faster. That'll be fine. Um, the only thing we should really do is uh, when they're built... Now this is something that's a bit annoying with this thing here. Um, uh, when they are actually built, we've got plenty of space here for putting other things in if we want to. Um, uh, I'm also kind of tempted to maybe shove this over a bit more to leave some more space behind here in case we want to put another row of food in because sometimes the food doesn't keep up the thing. I haven't done the math on this to find out whether this is all balanced at all. So, um, I might do that. We might do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I was to move this over by seven, could we do that? So, 
One, two, three, four. No. We can go four, and that's kind of it. So let's do that. Let's move it over by four. Okay, we'll get rid of these. Get rid of uh, this here. And then we could potentially put more in there, like that. That's what I want to do. So you come along come up here. We'll have storage for you here. Um, you can't build here. I'll put enough in, not enough CPU. No, um, that's okay. Oop. You go to there, you go to there, you go to there. Um, we're going to have a couple of double connections onto the system. I can't do anything about that. Um, see, that's, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Nope, that's not going to work because it, this, this, will travel two ways and this will travel two ways and it won't work it won't work so so i need to put it the other side I need to put the other side okay okay so um let's put it the other side okay so <laughs> we kind of back to where we were sort of um <laughs> so i redesigned this to put more in and figure stuff out and and, and do it without messing the pipes up and, and the belts up and things and then i went hang on a minute can we support that many no uh with this many uh ice melters here we can support 30 of these guys at most and if i put another row in there it comes 36 in total so we've got a little bit of room to put some extra ones in which i might do uh, and i've left space here so we can actually put them in facing away from us uh, but this is 12 would be 24 which means we've got space for six which is three on each side um maybe we could put a mushroom farm or two in here uh just to augment it to give it a little bit more um i don't mind the odd mushroom farm because it would be it. so maybe, maybe we could put like a mushroom farm in in there and one in there maybe just two in one there and one there you know bump bump and then have that come out and connect and then do the same on this side um because they don't use anywhere near as much uh also alternatively we could replace all of these guys with mushroom farms down um and uh mushroom farms produce um Uh, I can't remember the numbers. I can't remember the numbers. I'm, I'm not going to try and figure it out on, on camera. But yeah, M mushroom farms don't produce as much of them. But it's, it's something like it's two, two and a half mushroom farms to one of these, or two, two to one, or something. Um, it's, it's, it's not that far off. So you need two of these for one of these guys. So if we did replace one of these rows with mushroom farms, we'd still need to augment it with some of these um, other farms. But, you know, we could do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. We should get rid of six, twelve. That would take us down too many, so not really. Um, I think just adding some mushroom farms in to augment it to make it a little bit faster might be a better idea. Oh, aluminium and gears. I will do that mission. Go, box, go. Okay, so these are all filling up now, which is awesome. Um, these start doing their things there. Uh, there's no inputs for the large hydroponic farms. They require uh, slag to run, but there's no inputs to them. So, can't do that. For some reason, they've got slag in them already. I don't know why that's a thing. Also, we need to actually buy in some stuff to make it work. Um, because we don't have any of the stuff to make it work. But we'll do that in the next episode. Because this is taking a long time to get going. This and Astro Colony have taken me days to record i've had to leave stuff running for so long it's unbelievable and this one was my mistake but astro economy was a stages and I'm, I'm complaining but i'm not complaining if that, if that makes sense we're in the end game for astro economy so that's fine um and uh i don't know why i'm talking about that because this is the crust so anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun